Welcome back guys for another video on how you can set up your very own personal gilded.gg server. Last time we went over some of the flow bots that are available to you, uh, as well as some examples of what I currently use. This week, we're going to go over a little bit more uh, in terms of the IFTTT integrations uh, and what those will allow you to do within your server. Uh, and IFTTT is considered to be an if this, then that statement in which it will take note of anything that is being posted to a specific program that you have and send that to your gilded server uh, some of these examples include things such as your twitch account uh, youtube twitter instagram anything like those or even an rss feed for reddit or gilded uh, can be used in your server so we're going to jump into those uh, at the end i will also post a link to my gilded server where i will have a resource for you that has that text you'll need for the ifttt statements so let's jump into it All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into these IFTTTs and how you can go about setting those up for your own personal servers. Uh, what I'll do first is walk you through a few of the examples of what I currently use. Uh, and then I will also walk you through how to set those up through some of the online services. Uh, there are two services currently that I know of that work with this. Uh, one is IFTTT and the other is called, uh, I wanna say it's pronounced Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R. I will include both of those in the description for you. Uh, but we'll walk through how to set those up, how to link them to your Gilded server channels. Um, and then at the end, I will also be providing you with a link to our Gilded server in which I will be posting the text that you need for those RSS feeds and the stream help channel. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is go into the go to server and we're gonna show you some of those IFTTTs. Uh, one that I use is for my Twitch channel. So what I like to do, there is a Flowbot option that you can use to send a message to a channel. I personally like the look of the embed better. Uh, because I like that it gives a thumbnail preview and also tells what you're playing uh, and so on in this format. Uh, so I use that. Um, you can use one for YouTube, but I personally like to just copy the link and paste it. Uh, as you can see, it gives you a nice little thumbnail. Uh, and if we actually click on the video, let me pause that. Uh, you'll notice that it gives you the full video. You can click on the YouTube here to go to the YouTube channel. Uh, and then it will also give you the description um, as well as let you comment and so on. <clears throat> uh, another one that I like to use is for Twitter. Uh, as you can see here, whenever I post on Twitter, it will take that Twitter post and send it to this channel. Uh, they can click on this link here and that will actually send them to Twitter uh, to comment directly there. Uh, another one that I use is for Instagram. So as you can see, I have an embed here that will post the uh, the text, the description, as well as the photo. Um, there are a couple other ones, such as the RSS feed, which I did recently set one up, which uh, just hasn't fired yet because we haven't had a new post as of this evening. Uh, but there will be a RSS feed that will uh, populate in here once they post another Gilded update. So uh, it's just a few examples of what we currently use um, to walk through how to set up those IFTTTs. We are actually going to go ahead and pull this right on over. All right, so jumping into this, this is IFTTT. This is one of the programs that you can use. There is another program that goes by Zapier, uh, as you can see right here. Um, both of these have free... Um, Free options that you can set up but it's usually only for the first three accounts that you link um, I personally like the IFTTT one better uh, I feel like it's just easier to use in my opinion um, so that's the one that I'm gonna show you on for right now they're pretty much run the same way uh, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and create a new applet uh, and you can see that this is where your if this then that statement comes in uh, what we're going to do is click add. And then what you're going to do is find the service that you want to use. So let's say you want to use YouTube. 
you'll find YouTube, um, and then you'll see that it gives you uh, a good selection of options here to choose from. So let's say that I want a new video from my specific channel to show. Uh, what I'm gonna do is click on that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the channel ID, as you can see here, and post that in here to create that trigger. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this right now, just because I don't wanna connect one for YouTube. Um, but what I'll do is show you some of the other ones that I have done and walk you through how I created those. So in the same manner, um, as you can see here, I have one for Twitter. Uh, if I walk through what I did previously, which we can go to settings here to show you. Um, if I'm editing this, you can see that I can choose to include things such as either retweets or replies. Um, I don't typically like to include replies just because I want people to see my original tweets, but I don't want them to get bombarded by every single time I reply to somebody else's tweet. Um, so basically you'll connect your account, you'll choose what you want to do. Um, and then you'll go forward with the next step, which will be the then statement. Um, and as you can see here, this is where you're going to put in, um, the gilded servers webhook. Uh, and to give you an idea of what that looks like, let's go back to gilded real quick. All right. And then from in gilded, what you're going to do, you're going to set up a new text channel. Uh, so as you can see here for Twitter, um, I created a text channel called Twitter. Uh, and if I go to my settings, go to webhooks, you can create a webhook. So when you create this webhook, you're going to name it whatever you would like, give it an icon, and you're going to want to select the channel. Now, if you select the the cog wheel from the channel itself and then create a webhook you shouldn't have to change that uh, but just to keep an eye out to make sure that it is assigning the correct channel and then you'll see down here that it has created a webhook url for you this is important you'll want to grab this because you're going to use that in that ifttt uh, so going back let's go back to our ifttt all right all right, so going back in here, what you're gonna do is that that webhook URL that you just copied, you're gonna go ahead and paste that into here. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your method is noted as post, and then your content type is noted as application slash JSON. From there, what you're gonna do is use this text here that I'm gonna have in our gilded server, uh, and you're going to input that and then be sure to change out anything that needs to be changed. So uh, for one, you're going to make sure these go in. Like you see that it's going to be posted like this. It should be fine. If you notice that it isn't populating when you click off, you can add an ingredient down here. Um, and this is just the same as if you want to customize it, maybe to say something a little bit different. Uh, you do have these options down here. Um, but as you can see up here, um, this will give you the full rundown for the embed on your channel. Uh, so this should make it a little bit easier for you. Um, some of them, like I said, you may wanna customize a little bit more. Um, just take a look at each one, figure out what works best for you and your community. Um, and once you have got your webhook URL posted, you've selected post, you've selected application JSON, and you've included the text that's needed, you can hit to, well, this will say create, um, and you'll hit create. Uh, once that's all done, you're going to finish up. Uh, I believe it does say finish. Uh, and you'll see that it's noted as connected. Um, if you want, if you posted something and you're not seeing it pull up right away, you can check now. And what that'll do is send the feed to your channel. Um, and then if you have any issues, if you go into view activity, it will tell you when the applet was ran. And it'll also tell you if you ran into any issues and what caused the issue. Um, so that is the one for Twitter. A lot of the other ones are the same. Like I said, if I go into the RSS feed, uh, you can see that I can go into settings here. Uh, go to edits. Uh, if you are looking for the gilded.gg RSS feed, this is the link that you will want to use. Um, make sure you put that in, update your trigger. And then if we go into the then statement, same thing. You see that I have our webhook URL here. Uh, I have that I want it to post an application JSON, and then I have the text here for the embed. Um, if you have a custom icon URL, 
that you want to use for each of these, all you're going to do is just replace this link here with whatever link you want to use. I use Imgur for all of my links so that I can get the direct link and then use that HTTPS to uh, have the URL pulled image. And this process is pretty much the same for each one. So like I said, you're just going to go through um, each of these. You're going to create a new one. Um, like I said, we'll do one more real quick just to kind of give you an idea. Let's go down to, uh, let's say Instagram. So we're going to go to Instagram. We're going to select what option we want to use. Um, you can make multiple ones. If you do want to make more than three, you can sign up for a pro option. I want to say it's about $5 a month. Honestly, I think it's worth it. Um, I think you're going to get uh, quicker fire triggers. Um, so instead of waiting a good 45 to 50 seconds for your Twitch link to post, uh, it should post pretty instantly. Um, but again, like I said, you're going to go through, pick what you want to do. Uh, like I said, I think in this case, my account was already linked. Uh, so it didn't ask me to do it, but it will ask you to link your account. <clears throat> and then same thing, you're going to go through here. And then what you're going to want to do is go down look for web hooks and then make a web request. And then this is where you'll want to put in your URL method, content type and your body. All right, guys. So that about covers everything involving the IFTTTs. Uh, we were able to give you a few examples of what we use in our own personal server, as well as how you go about setting those up online and getting those connected to your gilded server via those web hooks. Uh, next week, we will be going over some of the calendar features and how you can use those to your advantage to notify your community and also keep track of your events that you have coming up. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way you can be notified the next time that we put out another video.